Coccinellidae is a widespread family of small beetles ranging in size from 0.8 to 18 mm, 0.03 to 0.71 inches. The family is commonly known as ladybugs in North America and ladybirds in Britain and other parts of the English-speaking world. Entomologists prefer the names ladybird beetles or lady beetles as these insects are not classified as true bugs. The majority of coccinellid species are generally considered useful insects, because many species prey on herbivorous homopterans such as aphids or scale insects, which are agricultural pests. Many coccinellids lay their eggs directly in aphid and scale insect colonies in order to ensure their larvae have an immediate food source. However, some species do have unwelcome effects, among these, the most prominent are of the subfamily Epilachnini, which includes the Mexican bean beetle, which are herbivorous themselves. Usually, Epilachnines are only minor agricultural pests, eating the leaves of grain, potatoes, beans, and various other crops, but their numbers can increase explosively in years when their natural enemies, such as parasitoid wasps that attack their eggs, are few. In such situations, they can do major crop damage. They occur in practically all the major crop-producing regions of temperate and tropical countries. All told, the ladybird life cycle involves four stages. The life expectancy of ladybugs depends on a variety of factors like weather and predators. If all goes well, though, the total lifespan of a ladybug can be up to one or two years. Most ladybugs voraciously consume plant-eating insects, such as aphids, and in doing so they help to protect crops. Ladybugs lay hundreds of eggs in the colonies of aphids and other plant-eating pests. In North America, coccinellids usually begin to appear indoors in the autumn when they leave their summer feeding sites in fields, forests, and yards and search out places to spend the winter. Typically, when temperatures warm to the mid-60s degree F, around 18 degrees Celsius, in the late afternoon, following a period of cooler weather, they will swarm onto or into buildings illuminated by the Sunday swarms of coccinellids fly to buildings in September through November depending on location and weather conditions. Homes or other buildings near fields or woods are particularly prone to infestation. After an abnormally long period of hot, dry weather in the summer of 1976 in the UK, a marked increase in the aphid population was followed by a plague of ladybirds, with many reports of people being bitten as the supply of aphids dwindled. The presence of coccinellids in grape harvests can cause ladybird taint in wines produced from the grapes. Harmonia axarides, the harlequin ladybird, was introduced into North America from Asia in 1979 to control aphids, but it is now the most common species, outcompeting many of the native species. It has since spread to much of Western Europe, reaching the UK in 2004. It has become something of a domestic and agricultural pest in some regions, and gives cause for ecological concern. It has similarly arrived in parts of Africa, where it has proved variously unwelcome, perhaps most prominently in vine-related crops. Ladybirds have long been of interest to children. They had many regional names, now mostly disused, in English, such as variations on Bishop Barnaby, Norfolk and Suffolk dialect, Barnaby, Burnaby, the Bishop that burneth, and Bishy Bishy Barnaby. The etymology is unclear, but it may be from St. Barnabas feast in June, when the insect appears, or a corruption of Bishop that burneth, from the fiery elytra of the beetles. The ladybird was immortalized in the popular children's nursery rhyme Ladybird Ladybird. This poem has its counterpart in German as Marenwurmchen, collected in Dinobin Wunderhorn, and set to music by Robert Schumann as OP 79, number 13, and a Polish nursery rhyme, Little Ladybird's Anthem, of which a part, Fly to the Sky, Little Ladybird, Bring Me a Piece of Bread, became a saying. Many cultures consider ladybirds lucky and have nursery rhymes or local names for the insects that reflect this. For instance, the Turkish name for the insect is Eurypsii, literally meaning good luck bug. In many countries, including Russia, Turkey, and Italy, the sight of a coccinellid is either a call to make a wish or a sign that a wish will soon be granted. In Christian areas, they are often associated with the Virgin Mary, and the name that the insect bears in the various languages of Europe corresponds to this. Although historically many European languages referenced Freja, the fertility goddess of Norse mythology, in the names, the Virgin Mary has now largely supplanted her, so that, for example, 
Fregina, Old Norse, and Froahenge have been changed into Marini, Norwegian, and Maren Kaffir, German, which corresponds with Our Lady's bird. Sometimes, the insect is referred to as belonging directly to God, Irish Boinda, Polish Bozakroka, Russian Boz Hyakorovka, all meaning God's little cow. In Dutch it is called Leavehersbeestch, meaning little animal of our good Lord. In both Hebrew and Yiddish, it is called Moshe Rabbanus, i.e., Moses's little cow or little horse, apparently an adaptation from Slavic languages. Occasionally, it is called Little Messiah. The insects have been used to symbolize ladybird books, part of Penguin Group, and the ladybird range of children's clothing sold by the former high street chain Woolworths in the UK, while the ladybird street tile is a symbol against senseless violence in the Netherlands, and is often placed on the sites of deadly crimes. Ladybirds have served as the U.S. state insects of Delaware, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Ohio, and Tennessee, though only New York has selected a species native to the United States, Coccinella novemnitata. The other states have all adopted an invasive European species, Coccinella septempunctata. They have also been adopted as the mascot of Candenchu, a ski resort near Canfranc in the Spanish Pyrenees. Coccinellids are best known as predators of Sternorinca such as aphids and scale insects, but the range of prey species that various coccinellidae may attack is much wider. A genus of small black ladybirds, Stethorus, presents one example of predation on non-Sternorinca, they specialise in mites as prey, notably Tetronychus spider mites. Stethorus species accordingly are important in certain examples of biological control. They are natural predators of a range of serious pests, such as the European corn borer, a moth that costs U.S. agriculture industry more than $1 billion annually in crop losses and population control. Various larger species of coccinellidae attack caterpillars and other beetle larvae. Several genera feed on various insects or their eggs, for example, Coleomedula species are significant predators of the eggs and larvae of moths such as species of Spodoptera and the Plutilidae. Larvae and eggs of ladybirds, either their own or of other species, can also be an important food resource when alternative prey are scarce. As a family, the coccinellidae used to be regarded as purely carnivorous, but they are now known to be far more omnivorous than previously thought, both as a family and in individual species, examination of gut contents of apparently specialist predators commonly yield residues of pollen and other plant materials. Besides the prey they favor, most predatory coccinellids include other items in their diets, including honeydew, pollen, plant sap, nectar, and various fungi. The significance of such non-prey items in their diets is still under investigation and discussion. Apart from the generalist aphid and scale predators and incidental substances of botanical origin, many coccinellidae do favor or even specialise in certain prey types. This makes some of them particularly valuable as agents in biological control programs. Determination of specialization need not be a trivial matter, though, for example the larva of the Vidalia ladybird Rhodolia cardinalis is a specialist predator on a few species of monoflavidae, in particular Isaria purchasi, which is the most notorious of the cottony cushion scale species. However, the adult R. cardinalis can subsist for some months on a wider range of insects plus some nectar. Certain species of coccinellids are thought to lay extra infertile eggs with the fertile eggs, apparently to provide a backup food source for the larvae when they hatch. The ratio of infertile to fertile eggs increases with scarcity of food at the time of egg laying. Such a strategy amounts to the production of trophic eggs. Some species in the subfamily Epilachnini are herbivores, and can be very destructive agricultural pests, e.g., the Mexican bean beetle. Again, in the subfamily Coccinellini, members of the tribe Halizionae and the genus Tithospes are mycophagus. The name Coccinellids is derived from the Latin word coccineus meaning scarlet. The name ladybird originated in Britain where the insects became known as Our Lady's Bird or the Lady Beetle. Mary, Our Lady, was often depicted wearing a red cloak in early paintings, and the spots of the seven-spot ladybird, the most common in Europe, were said to symbolize her seven joys and seven sorrows. In the United States, the name was adapted to ladybug. Common names in some other European languages have the same association, for example, the German name Marenkaffer translates to Mary Beetle. 
Hit that thumbs up button if you found this video to be useful or if you learned something today.